I'm Mark Perner, the very proud principal of Chopscon High School, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Class of 2021 Commencement Ceremony. Please rise for the Class of 2021, and remain standing for the processional through the Pledge to the Flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is my distinct honor to introduce to you some of our very special guests. Dr. Scott Smith, Superintendent of St. Mary's County Public Schools. Thank you. 
Sheriff Tim Cameron, St. Mary's County Sheriff. Miss Shelly McDaniel, 12th grade administrator. Miss Chris White, college and career advisor. Miss Ellen Scheuer, registrar. Miss Ashley Gallo, sponsor of the Student Government Association. Madison Allen, class of 2021 treasurer. Miss Brandy Dickett, class of 2021 secretary. Miss Emily Thompson, class of 2021 valedictorian. And we also have Mrs. Rodriguez, class of 2021 class boss. All right, class of 2021. I know this is not how you pictured graduation to go or how your senior year to go. For me too, this is not how I envisioned my first year as your principal to go, yet here we are, just a few moments away from graduating. So I knew you didn't come here today to hear me speak. I wanna make this brief, four and a half minutes to be exact. I timed it, but although brief, what I have to say this morning is important, so I hope you listen closely. Instead of a traditional graduation speech, what I wanna do this morning is share two, and less, two lessons that we have learned from you two important life lessons that you have taught us that I hope you continue to share after you move past the very proud halls of Chopicon High School. Number one, you have shown us how to confront real struggles. Most people do everything they can to avoid struggling, whether it's physical struggle, mental, emotional, or academic struggle, most people do everything they can to avoid it. While these folks think they're making their lives easier, what they do, effectively is actually just the opposite. They shield themselves from difficult but meaningful learning experiences. You graduating class of 2021 are the opposite of these people. You confronted a reality where it would have been understandable to blame your environment and view yourself as a victim and expect less of yourself. But instead, you rose to the challenges that life threw at you and you worked harder. So when people tell me how sorry they are for you, I can't help but to think, yes, I'm sorry for what you had to deal with, but I'm so incredibly proud of you for how you dealt with it. Proud that you chose to persevere, proud that you turned adversity into growth opportunities, and proud that you faced your adversity instead of avoiding it. You graduating class of 2021, by virtue of sitting before us here today, have shown that you are not broken, you are resilient and we are proud of you beyond measure for making it here. Number two, you have reminded us of the profound importance of human connection. You have taught us on a new level the value of people connecting with each other socially and emotionally. You have shown us the potential for healing and overcoming when these connections are made and sustained. Unfortunately, we have also seen the profound negative effects when these connections are lost. In the last decade, and especially in this year of COVID, mental health concerns, anxiety, depression, and suicide have all been increasing to unprecedented levels. Why? It is within this context and with this profoundly important question that you step into the working world and face the challenges of adulthood. But I'm not worried for you because it is you who have shown us that these are not problems to be solved with better content knowledge, better skills, or anything that you learn from a book or a PowerPoint. You have taught us that these are problems that we need to resolve with genuine human connection, with authentic relationships, and with compassion. You have reminded us of the literal life-saving implications of coming together as a community or simply reaching out to a friend. Because of this, I'm confident that your generation, with you leading the way, will be the ones to make real, genuine human connections that change our world for the better. Not because of the content and skills that we have taught you, but because of the value of human connection that you have taught us. In closing, I wanna thank you, Chapticon Braves, graduating class of 2021. 
Thank you for showing us that in life, we don't always have a choice in the struggles we face, but we do have a choice in how we face them. And by choosing to confront them, we can turn very real struggles into growth opportunities. Thank you for showing us that the most important problems of our lives will not be solved with social media or the latest technology, but by human connection and compassion. Finally, thank you for showing us and teaching us these lessons just by being yourselves, exactly who you are. Thank you and congratulations. Welcome, class of 2021's Ludatorian, James Tripp. Good afternoon, everybody. During my freshman year, I thought it would be nice to be valedictorian. Then I found out that the valedictorian had to give a speech. I then thought, you know what? I don't want it that bad. Second's not too shabby. This past summer, I found out the that the salutatorian had to give the speech as well. The speech thing seemed to be haunting me, but don't worry, I thought, there's still time to screw this up. <laughs> Unfortunately, like all my plans in 2020, my plan did not go well, so here I am. Over the past few months, I have reflected, as I am sure many of you have, on the events of our school journey. At the end of our freshman year, I remember the day that we were forced outside due to a fire. As we would later learn, being evacuated due to a fire was a yearly occurrence at Chopticon. At the time, it was pretty cool though. As we sat outside in the sweltering heat of May, we desperately tried to piece together the cause. It turned out that it would, be, uh, would not be that difficult as the unseasoned arsonists decided to film themselves in the act. Last year, many of us felt bad for last year's senior class since the end of their senior year was derailed by COVID. Our own senior year was derailed as well. Yet, we endured it and we made it here. We all showed up for our Google Meets along with our wonderful teachers. One group, the students, desperately trying to never say anything while the teachers practically begging some, for someone to speak to, so they don't feel like they're going crazy. We struggled to show up every day to learn, yet we did. We all know how hard it was to go sh to show up for school this year, as well as, as for our teachers. Our teachers deserve great praise for their time and dedication to their profession that they showed this year. 
We all know the long hours they spent adapting to online learning this year. We all adapted this past year to the difficulties. Now all of our hard work has paid off. There were also the fun times we had together. I recall the end of our middle school career when we went to the Blue Crab Stadium. There was wiffle ball and football to enjoy. There was also rock climbing and a host of other activities. That great celebration at the, of the end of that journey and the beginning of another one. Another great memory of our high school careers was the early pep rallies we had. It was always it was always fun to scream ourselves hoarse and watch a teacher kiss a cow. It was a joy to see the parade with all our teams and clubs, such as the football and soccer teams, or the classes of 2021 and SGA. This past year, we have not been able to have the traditional events that seniors have. Like many things this past year, we have made the most of it. A few weeks ago, we went to an outdoor tailgate prom. I know I enjoyed it greatly, as did many of you. It was fun to be together as a class for one last get together. We were able to paint the barn, allowing us to honor that great tradition. There were outdoor games we could play. I saw many competitive games of spike ball, volleyball, and cornhole. It was great to see all the friends we have not seen in a while. The friends that will stay with us in some ways for the rest of our lives. Muhammad Ali once said, Friendship is the hardest thing in the world to explain. It's not something you learn in school, but if you haven't learned the meaning of friendship, you really haven't learned anything. We also had good times with our teachers. One particular class that stands out to me was Mr. Russell's US history class. One day we were discussing the Cold War's arms race. Mr. Russell wanted to make sure we did not confuse the ar nuclear arms race with a different kind of arms race. To address this, he crouched down in front of a desk and proceeded to race his arms across the desk. Up until that point, I had never even considered an actual arms race. As we approached the end of this journey, we were faced with a goodbye. A goodbye to the school, to our teachers, and most importantly, some of our friends. As we grapple on this possibly lifelong goodbye, it gives new meaning to what we lived through. It is the endings, not the beginnings, that grant meaning. The memories we made together will last far longer than any material possession. The laughter that was shared, the tears that were shed, the happiness that we had, and the tribulations we endured will be what we take with us and what will guide us through the voyage we are just beginning. On goodbyes, Ritu Gawarty said, quote, goodbyes make you think, they make you realize what you had, and what you've lost, and what you've taken for granted, end quote. This goodbye has made me think about what I had, what I'm, I am losing, and what I have taken for granted. I know that many of you have thought about this as well. It is, it is time, though, to celebrate this momentous occasion in our lives. As we set sail on this voyage we call life, I hope we can all remember the time we had together. It is my honor to bid you farewell and good luck on the voyage ahead of you. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage our class of 2021 salutatorian, Ms. Jill Hayden. Class of 2021, our four years at Chopticon have been unlike any other class. We have been together for a long time now, and we have all grown and changed in many different ways. Most of us first met at Margaret Brent, where the highlight of our school day was playing speedball in Ms. Sapp's class. Now, six years later, graduating high school, where we are ready to go our separate ways and start our own journey. Freshman year, we were all starting over, going to a new school as the little kids again, and not knowing our way around. We endured our first high school tryouts with nervousness and anxiety, not knowing whether or not we were going to make the team. We all struggled to find our place, foster old and new friendships, and identify our purpose. In our sophomore year, we were all eager to get our driver's licenses and gain greater freedoms. We were starting to think about our futures. Junior year, we were the upperclassmen, the bigger kids. We were role models for the younger ones we started taking advantage of Tech Center, dual enrollment, and AP classes. 
we widened our college searches and started narrowing down on our interests for our future career paths. Then the coronavirus hit. We were sent home for the rest of the school year to continue virtually. We continued to persevere as a class, taking on this new style of learning. Through these experiences, we have grown to overcome and face any challenge ahead of us. Who would have thought we, that we would have spent our senior year going to school for only 30 in-person days? Social distancing and wearing masks at school made us learn to work together in unique ways. We, along with the teachers, navigated through Google Meets, breakout rooms, and Schoology. Although this year was not how we have ideally wanted our senior year to go, we have learned a lot from this experience. We have all learned to be more appreciative and never take the little things for granted. I'm sure we are all appreciative of the traditions we are able to carry on, such as barn painting and the senior picnic, along with the adjustments that were made by coaches and athletes to make high school sports possible. I would like to thank all of the teachers for making sure online learning went as smoothly as possible. I know this was not an easy task. A few memories I will not forget at ChoptCon are Mrs. Summers kissing a cow and Perner kissing a pig. I will cherish the time spent playing sports, being involved in clubs, and enjoying time with my friends in high school. The highlight of these years in high school have been celebrating Spirit Week and pep rallies, always decking out for Braves Day and trying to scream the loudest to win the spirit stick. Our class always loved watching football games, cheering in Chop Nation, and always competing with Leonardtown, knowing they would all wear camo every time we played them. We will all miss being greeted by Mr. Mike, always seeing him cheerful in the mornings. And we will never forget seeing Miss Courtney in the halls and always being called beautiful and handsome. All of the athletes will miss spending time with our teammates who became family, breaking records, and having Sap and Wes visiting our practices. We were the young juniors who beat the seniors in Powder Puff and who would have gone on to beat the juniors if we would have had a Powder Puff game this year. Some special activities we got to enjoy, thanks to the staff, was petting dogs for Mental Health Day and the in-school basketball games against the teachers, all while being with our friends every day. I will even miss trying to cram for AP tests, the smell of cow manure on a hot day, Gallo blaring her music throughout the halls, the days that felt as if we had no air conditioning, and the random fire alarms we would have that resulted in the fire department coming to school on multiple occasions. As we move on to adult, as adults post-graduation, these small things that we thought were a burden will become the special memories we fondly recall and miss the most. It's hard to believe that four short years ago, I was the little freshman chasing after the bus at least three days of every week. These years have gone by so fast and we have all grown and changed so much. Peace out class of 2021. We all had a good time together and I know you all have a bright future ahead of you. Please welcome class of 2021 valedictorian, Emily Thompson. I would like to start off by thanking all those who not only made this possible, but made this journey memorable. I thank my parents, teachers, and friends who have supported me along the way. I thank my sister who stood in this very position, giving her valedictorian speech six years ago, who acted as an inspiration. When we walked into this school in 2017, we were open-minded yet anxious freshmen. We knew very little and began a new chapter of our lives, thinking we were ready for what was to come. While the classes may have been more difficult than middle school, we made it through and learned to walk through these hallways with confidence. And today, we will walk across this stage after years of work in education with more confidence than ever before. I urge you all to work together, exchange ideas, and witness the differences working as a team can truly result in. Being able to exchange ideas ignites imagination and in turn is a key for success. Lean on each other, even after high school. Allow yourself to become vulnerable allow yourself to see from another perspective, even if it is one you may not agree with, especially if it is one you may not agree with or one you've never heard before, for this open-mindedness will be what leads to change in the world. While it may not be these same people, I can assure you that welcoming others' ideas into your thought process will catalyze your achievement. 
Whether your path after high school is to further your ed education at a college or university, enter directly into the workforce, join our nation's military, or anywhere in between, we are ready to enter the world and make a difference. The determination in this group of graduates is evident and will carry us into life beyond high school. While there is no guarantee what the future holds, it is bright, and each one of us has our own path full of obstacles and detours I know we will conquer. As H. Jackson Brown once said, in a confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins, not through strength, but by perseverance. I mention this to encourage my fellow graduates to celebrate our differences, to see that there is no one graduate in this Chopticon class of 2021 who is more capable than another. There is no one, gra I already said that. <laughs> our strengths are different. Our dreams and passions are exclusive to each one of us. However, no dream is stronger or more important than another. Each dream is equally achievable despite our differing strengths. Each one of the graduates here today can erode the rock of adversity that stands between them and their dreams. It matters not the strength or intelligence you believe you have, because through perseverance, hard work, and focus, a difference will be made in this world. Those three qualities, perseverance, hard work, focus, as well as the aforementioned open-mindedness, will allow us to achieve a multitude of goals in our life past high school. Our success is determined by our dedication to each goal we set for ourselves. While I know you've heard it a million times, if there is one thing I can encourage my fellow graduates to take away from this is to never, ever give up. Your goal is achievable as long as you stick with it. A quote from Albert Einstein, it's not that I'm so smart, it is just that I stick with my problems longer. I stand before you today telling you to be a stream in this world. Fight through every single difficulty you may face. I can see it in each one of these graduates. The staff here today, who has worked to see us walk across this stage, can see it in each one of these graduates. Find the ability to see it in yourself and continue to persevere until you have reached the end. And then I encourage you to consider finding a new destination. If there is one feeling, I am sure my fellow graduates and I are all sharing at this very moment. It is that universal idea of, I did it. It is being proud of ourselves for reaching the end of a journey that does not quite feel over until we, together as a class, walk off this stage, diploma in hand, prepared to take on anything and everything this world has to offer. We will make a difference. We will work hard, just as we have these past four years of high school. We will set goals and we will achieve them. Lean on each other for success. Ask others for assistance. Our possibilities are endless and the future is welcoming. After all, there is no other class of students who can tell their children they went through their last years of high school in a pandemic. There is no other class who has faced this adversity we faced. There is no other class who has proven their per perseverance as evidently as us. Congratulations, my fellow graduates. I know you will continue to accomplish great things. I, as valedictorian of the Chopticon High School class of 2021, am honored to speak for such an extraordinary group of individuals. I wish you all the best. And again, congratulations. Thank you.
class of 2021 president, Savannah Saunders. Good afternoon, fellow Chopticon High School parents, staff, families, and especially my fellow class of 2021 students. I would first like to say that for the past four years, it has been a privilege and an honor to be the Chopticon High School class president. I have been able to watch the beauty that is our class grow into what it is today. And before I begin on the reflection of our crazy years together, I would like us students, families, staff members, and anyone else out there to take a moment to celebrate that after four very long years, we finally are here on graduation day. We finally did it. <laughs> I would like to also take this time to personally thank people in my life that without, I would not be where I am today. My beautiful mother, Stephanie, who has created me to be the amazing woman I am today. My father, Edward, who is looking down on me from above. My uncle, Billy, who has filled my whole and my heart and has been a true man of love and honor. My sister, Sierra, who's watching at home, who has pushed me harder than most. And my grandparents, who have showed me limitless amounts of love and support. And finally, my friends, who have been my backbone and encouragement through this entire thing. I'm glad to have this chance to address you all. I must admit, it, I am feeling pretty sad because this is an opportunity that I may have for the last time to address you all. And for the last four years, we have stood by each other, watching ourselves and our friends grow into who we see in the mirror today. We have learned many lessons and values. And I take this opportunity to say that we have gained a new sense of opportunity and perspective. I'm talking about the opportunity we've gained to write our own story, to have the opportunity to take control of our lives in a brand new way. The Chopticon class of 2021 cannot go unsaid that in this last year, we have lost a lot of opportunity, lost a lot of daily joys that senior year had to offer us, but nothing comes without a cost. But as my wise mother once told me, everything happens for a reason. And I believe the cost of losing a couple experiences has enabled us to have the opportunity to cherish and really look back at the memorable times that we shared as a class. Whether big or small, we will always remember Mr. Lasani's very endlessly long book report that none of us wanted to do and we had no idea how he read all those books in his lifetime. We will never forget Miss O'Day's beautiful serenades in the hallway. We can never forget Ms. Hooven's caring spirit and welcoming smile every time we walked into the hallways. And who could forget Ms. Rodriguez and Ms. Gallo's incredible school spirit that put a smile on anyone's face when we were having the worst possible day. Usually in these speeches, a president writes about the glorious and beautiful memories that our class had accomplished in the last four years. Now, don't get me wrong, our class was pretty fantastic. From our amazing academy students creating beautiful masterpieces and performing heart-stopping performances. To the beautiful soon-to-be musicians who gave us such amazing grace with their voices. To the future Olympic athletes who have shattered records and taken each game, track meet, and competition by storm. But for my fellow senior students, I know that we are all sad to say goodbye. But graduation does not mean that a friendship that we have created is broken. It is a friendship that we are taking to the next level as we go on with our lives. What are the chances that our senior year would end this way? No fun nights of dancing and dressing up, no sad teary-eyed walks in the hallway, no more practices, no more games, no more meetings. COVID-19 really had a hard impact on our last school year together. And as I stand here and I look at all of you, I realize just how much I've missed being around you all. And I can only imagine that you all feel the same way. I do not want to say goodbye because I personally don't like them but I'd like to take this chance to say see you later, because I know that in the years to come, I will see many of us on television, Broadway, or who even knows, I might even see when you guys on the Olympics. But it has been such an honor to share the school hallways with you, and as much as it's been an honor to share Google Meets with you, it has not been ideal, but it has been memorable. And with that being said, I wish everyone good luck and farewell, and that I do truly believe that in the fact that every one of us got closer when we were six feet apart. Thank you. Please welcome our superintendent, Dr. J. J. Scott Smith. Thank you. Uh, 
class of 2021, I see smiling eyes behind masks, the little eye crinkles in the corner. You're going to enter a world like no other, one that hopefully won't take for granted how special it is to gather, to see each other's smiles, to hug, and to hold loved ones. I'd like to just take a quick moment to thank each of you for getting us all here, graduates, all of you, you got us here. Also, thank you to the teachers and the counselors and the support staff and the administrators, but most importantly to everyone else gathered here in this auditorium, thank you to parents and to grandparents and to aunts and uncles and neighbors and everybody who stepped up to fill the gaps as we worked each day to get through. And sometimes getting through was as good as it could get. Robert Frost wrote, the best way out is through. And here we are, just moments away from you, getting out, finally. So, to the class of 2021, the masked class, the, <laughs> the class undaunted, the class that has marked and made history, I say congratulations and job well done. May all your days that follow be filled with family and friends, smiling and holding a hug a bit tighter, a few seconds longer, because you know the cost of this great gift. Thank you very much. All right, we're about to get this party started. What you came to see few little logistical things here before we get started with the graduates. The graduates, you're gonna enter from this side, collect your diploma here, exit this way. Make sure you take the ramp and not the stairs when you leave. You can take your mask off when you enter the stage. That's totally up to you. And then we'll pause for a photo in the front. So that's it. The presentation of diplomas will now begin. First row, please stand. Emily Nicole Thompson. Blake Lewis Adkins. Brooke Alexandra Adkins. Jason Allen Agate. Yeah. Madison Bell Allen. <laughs> Courtney Ann Alasada. <laughs> Samantha Marie Alvarez. Reagan Elizabeth Engel. Leanne Allison Asher. Mackenzie Noel Odd. Emma Marie Ayers. Tucker Daniel Bain. Carleek Antonio Baker. Katie Elizabeth Ann Ballou. Michaela Sharice Barber. Jackson Walter Keicher Barnes. Yeah. 
Zachary Dwayne Balcom. <laughs> Ethan Elliot Beal. <laughs> Kaylin Gabrielle Beaner. <laughs> Cecil Andy Bell the third. Austin Raymond Berkeley. <laughs> Anne Marie Bernard. <laughs> Dane Alexander Black. Elijah Craig Vaughn Blackman. <laughs> Marina Jean Blake. <laughs> Dawson Dakota Bookwalder. Madison Lee Bowen. Brandon Antonio Bowman. Clay Andrew Bowser. Joseph Basil Brady the fourth. Megan Lee Brady. Nathan John Brady. Sarah Marie Brock. Bradley Ryan Brown. Julia Michelle Brown. Justin Deontay Brown. Luke Allen Bruce. Hudson Glenn Buckler. Logan Perry Buckley Tippett. Christian Matthew Birch. Alex Kane Burrell. Daniel Christopher Burroughs Reed. Ronnie Taikisha Freddie Butler. Natavia Lene Call. Sean Patrick Cameron. <laughs> Serenity Asiona Campbell. <laughs> Ian Alexander Camfield. Larissa Janae Carmine. Yeah. 
Cindy Lynn Carter. Emily Leanne Carter. Charles Eugene Castle the third. Patrick Alexander Castro. Katie Lee Catterton. Kyle Russell Catterton. Marilee Ann Cherry. Mariah Danielle Clark. <laughs> Haley Michelle Clevenger. <laughs> Star Renee Coleman. Stephen Allen Collins. Austin James Conley. Lauren Elizabeth Cooney. Destiny Nicole Copsey. Michael Brian Copsey Jr. Morgan Louise Copsey. Abigail May Lynn Craig. Colton Douglas Creek. I release Candace Crisp. Candace Elizabeth Crawford. Megan Carol Cusmano. Evan Michael D'Angelo. Alexia Marie Davis. Brandon Lee Davis. Daryl James Davis. Richard Allen Dean the second. Brandy Ashlyn Dickett. Patrick Gerson Dickett. Abigail Bennett Doliner. Benjamin Craig Dorman. Demaya Cache Dorsey. Oh, 
Nikai Jaquez Dorsey. Shane Kyra Droff. Nicholas Shane Dunbar. Thomas Joseph Duval. Jonathan Michael Eckerd. Bradley David Edick. James Jordan Edwards. Allison Ray Escalopio. Jackson Scott Evans. Brianna Joy Farrell. Dominic Thomas Farrell. Tyler Joseph Farrell. Caleb Isaac Fonts. Jordan Allen Fonts. Anthony Jacob Fedak. Jocelyn Alexandra Finnessy. Emily Renee Fletcher. Matthew David Flynn. Valen Marie Foster. Dylan Zachary Fox. Garrett James Francine. Hannah Rose Carol Frank. Toby Lee Fries. Kendrick Christopher Fuller. Nadia Maria Hinojosa Gagnon. Leah Marie Gardner. Shelby Louise Gardner. Nathan Trent Gardner. Sydney Adele Gatton. Marissa Pearl Gifford. Garnet Cor Gill. Morgan Elizabeth Gilliam. Briley Jean Gillingham.
Jackson Lee Goldsboro. Glenn Joseph Grabis III. Raymond Patrick Graham. Austin Jacob Graves. Rayleigh Sarah Graves. Haley Emmeline Gray. Taryn Lee Greenhow. Terrence Lamond Greenhow Jr. Gregory William Griffith. Alexander Stephen Guy. Emily Lynn Guy. Hunter James Guy. Nathan Evan Guy. Thank you. Samantha Elizabeth Guy. Margaret Lillian Hall. Michael Walter Hardister. Andrew Hayes Harley. Nicholas Gordon Hera. Maya Nicole Harris. I'm so proud of you. Cassandra Lynn Hartman. Are you behind? Stephen Collins Headley the third. Oh, sorry, I did that. Sorry. Thank you. Jill Victoria Hayden. Samantha Jane Hyder. Caitlin Lorraine Herbert. Giselle Herrera Torres. Alexander Edward Hertzbach. Haley Marie Hewitt. <laughs> Rebecca Pamela Hewitt. <laughs> Abby Nicole Higgs. Jason Lane Hill. <laughs> Jessica Megan Hill. <laughs> Nicholas Michael Hill. Cheyenne Alicia Shello Hill. <laughs> William Boyden Hill. <laughs> Kelsey Nicole Holland. <laughs> a 
Alexis Nicole Holly. Cody James Holman. Christopher Matthew Holton Jr. Douglas Allen Hoover III. Layla Elizabeth Hauser. Trevor Joseph Howe. Dylan Matthew Huff. Ahmad Jaleel Hunt. Alexis Grace Hutchinson. Nash Dalton Hutchinson. Juliana Hudson. Elena Marie Jacobs. Jesse Nicole James. Dimitri William Jameson. Alexander Thomas J. Hughes. <laughs> Piper Cheyenne Jeffries. <laughs> Bailey Evan Johnson. Ian Michael Johnson. Caitlin Marie Johnson. Max Burton Johnson. Michael Lawrence Johnson Jr. Michelle Patricia Johnson. Thank you. Tyreek Noah Johnson. Christopher Ross Karnbach. Alice Lilybeth Kelly. Ashley Rose Kallenbach. <laughs> Alexis Nicole Kemp. <laughs> Destiny Marie Kearns. Kayla Marie Kearns. <laughs> Anthony James King. <laughs> Dylan Christopher King. <laughs> James Benjamin King. Jacob Austin Kirby. Thank you. 
Brandon Lee Colby. <laughs> Zoe Anna Marie Krauss. Marissa Elizabeth Cuno. Darren Michael Kurtz. Madeline Renee Ladd. James Richard Laramore III. Stephen Anthony Lawrence. <laughs> Larry Joseph Laws. <laughs> Wayne Allen Lehman, Jr. <laughs> Shelby Leanne Leonard. Helena Margaret Lair. Brianna Nicole Lemerice. Zoe Grace Lid. William Lynn. Anita Lynn Michelle Long. Kelsey Lee Long. Riley Dale Long. Kaylee Ann Cheseldine. Marielle Lopez Perez. Olivia Evelyn Grace Laura. William Arthur Loveless Jr. He say Iman Lyles the second. James Truman Lyon Jr. John Robert Lyon. Wyatt Alexander McGargle. <laughs> Abigail Marguerite Malloy. <laughs> Alyssa Hope Mann. <laughs> Bryce Connor Manuel. Erica Ann Martin. Devin Anthony Mason. Kirsten Haley Massery. Ellie Christine Maynard. <laughs> Philip 
David McCarthy. Jackson Matthew McLean. Peter Joseph McCormick, Jr. Abigail Teresa McDaniel. Dylan Scott McMahon. Matthew Reagan Mejia Johnson. Hunter Alexander Messick. Caitlin Colleen Messinio. Xavier Derek Miles. Brandon Scott Mills. Michelle Renee Mitchell. Katherine Grayson Motes. Jenna Sky Majoreski. Bethany Autumn Moore. Marissa Donna Murray. Samuel James Nebel. Catherine Elise Nelson. Alyssa Nicole Nelson. Casey Marie Nelson. Caden Bryce Nickerson. Abby Marie Norris. Hunter Alexander Null. Alexander Martin O'Brien. Tessa Victoria O'Reilly. Ashby Nicole Oliver. Justin Richard Oliver. Michaela Amber Blake Oliver. David Allen Owens, Jr. Brooke Marie Papa Constantino. Kara Michelle Perry. Brianna Isabel Partida. Michael Cruz Paust. K. 
Caitlin Ann Phillips. Tyrus Stefan Patterson. Matthew Clay Pickerel. Leah Mackenzie Plum. Abigail Victoria Poole. Trenton Michael Powell. Brandon Kyle Pulliam. Matthew Guy Pulliam. Samantha Claire Pusateri. Bradley Alexander Putnam. Tyler Andrew Quaid. Jude Barber Radies. Robert Joseph Rains. Allison Grace Rayleigh. Carson Thomas Rayleigh. Austin Lee Ramey. Ryan Patrick Rankin. Elizabeth Cecilia Reardon. Kyle James Reed. Christian Michael Redding. Stephen Gerard Remitz. Ashley Marie Requillman. Bailey Grace Richards. Dylan Thomas Richards. Jason Michael Rich. Anthony Luis Rivera, Jr. Ivan Juan Moses Rivera. Cheyenne Nicole Roberts. Patrick Weymouth Robinson. Austin Brian Roach. Emily Christine Rollins. Abigail Marilyn Romero.
Haley Brooke Rowe. Cameron Jason Rudolph. Margaret Asolinda Russell. Thomas Levin Rice the Fourth. Sarah Elizabeth Sage. Alyssa Christine Saeed. Braden Alexander Sampson. Savannah Rose Saunders. Haley Ann Sams. Christopher Aiden Schmidt. Alicia Lynn Semiclos. Ryan Scott Schaefer. <laughs> Melanie Jean Shipman. <laughs> Darian Lewis Shirley. <laughs> Austin Hunter Shawley. Gunner Steven Silverman. Hunter Thomas Simons. Kylie Rose Slack. Hunter Nicholas Smale. Caitlin Michelle Small. Kaylee Renee Small. Richard Paul Small the third. Elena Grace Smith. <laughs> Brianna Nicole Smith. <laughs> Lillian Rose Smith. Shane Thomas Smith. Taylor Nicole Smith. Giovanna Danielle Snyder. Imani Nicole Somerville. Christina Raven Summercamp. <laughs> Kyle Joseph Sorrells. <laughs> J. 
Julie Renee Southern. Morgan Renee Spargo. Brandon Lee Spears. Tabitha Ann Spell. John Wesley Stallings. Michael Kyle St. Peter. Amanda Carmela Staples. Jasmine Alexis Stevens. Madison Elizabeth Stevens. Haley Marie Stewart. Troy Lamont Stewart, Jr. Elena K. Stone Street. Kara Marie Sullivan. Benjamin Christopher Swan. Riley Elizabeth Tact. Ethan Emmanuel Thomas. Faith Leanne Shepherd Thomas. Garrett Allen Thomas. Jaden Xavier Thomas. Ryan Scott Thomas. Sydney Renee Thomas. Anissa Nicole Thomas Tire. Justin Cordell Thompson. Natalie Marie Thompson. Ashlyn Suzanne Thorpe. Jacqueline Grace Tippett. Julie Ann Tippett. Tyler James Tobin. Haley Elizabeth Town. Vince Nalp Tran. Cornell Anthony Travis, Jr. James Jensen Tripp. Justin Michael Tyre, Jr. Brooke Marie Underwood.
David Wayne Underwood. Mariella Noel Vallejo. Weston Albert Van Erp. Blake Anthony Varela. Donovan Nathaniel Vickers. Devin James Vukovic. <laughs> Kelly Ann Walker. Lance Tyler Wall. Miles Dana Wall. Thomas Sterling Wall. Brooklyn Page Walter. Kaya Brianne Waring. Patrick Carter Waring. David Blake Wathen. Donovan Colby Wathen. Kaylee Nicole Wathen. Jeffrey Ryan Wedding. Zachary Thomas Wedding. Brielle Adeline Welch. Carson Philip Welch. Jordan Lane Weatherall. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Wheeler. Jordan Renee Whipple. Madison Storm White. Tiffany Janelle White. Eric Joe Wiggins. Rosemary Grace Wild. Leroy Willenborg. Dale Leonard Williams. Jenna McKenzie Williams. Caitlin Rosanna Williams. Nasir Amir Williams. Joshua Aaron Willoughby. Scott Andrew Winchell.
Justin Ryan Winfrey. Alyssa Michelle Wolfarth. Autumn Marie Womack. Logan James Wright. Logan Anthony Zernhout. Alyssa Marie Zepko. Alexis Nicole Zirkin. Elsia Lisbeth Santos Jaquez. So Dr. Smith and members of the Board of Education, by virtue of the power vested in me, I'm pleased to certify Chopscon High School class of 2021 as Maryland High School graduates. Graduates, please stand. Class of 2021, you may now move your tassel to the left. Congratulations. Yes, 